Okay, um, a question uh, I know a lot of beginners, uh, uh, myself included, before I really got into this, is how much does all this stuff cost? What do you get out of it? What's your return on investment and all that stuff? So I'm just going to go through a series of videos. This first will be on just the solar system. I have a hybrid wind and sun, uh, wind and solar system, but I'm going to start with the solar. Now, first, um, what do you get out of this stuff? Uh, you know, first, obviously, to me, is just the freedom of not ever uh, having to rely on the electric company or the man, if you will. So, uh, you know, freedom is a huge thing. Convenience is quite another. When you power goes out, you'll have power. And then, of course, there's the economics of it. And then, of course, there's environmental issues. So, anyway, let's just, uh, I'm focusing in on the costs of this system, and uh, and we'll start again with the solar. So, I what I did was I did a breakdown, and I'll put it up here, of, I'm going to start with my system, which is still very much in its infancy. Uh, I just began, so I, I don't have a huge capacity, but I'm going to go over what I have, what it provides, and then I'll go into what a larger system might cost. Um, so, and in my other videos, I've already detailed all the different components I have. So this is just getting into the cost breakdown. So let's start with um, what is my system's uh, capacity? It produces approximately 4,000 watts per day, which provides for me about 20, 23% of my home's energy uh, consumption. So let's begin with the solar panels. What I have, and believe me, there's much more expensive stuff than what I have, and there's probably less expensive stuff, but I'm just gonna give you what I have. First thing you're gonna need is the solar panels. Um, what I have here is um, Kia Serra 135 watt 12 volt panels. They cost me uh, $300 per panel, approximately. Picked them up at uh, Northern Arizona Wind and Solar. It's a great, great uh, online store. So 135 watt panels um, times five means you're going to produce, uh, you know, you're not going to be quite this, but, you know, not too far off, 675 watts of power an hour. In where I live, the average, you know, uh, overall is about 6.1 hours of, of uh, that peak sun or good sun. Um, so, for me, you do 6.1 hours times however many watts per hour my system makes, and that gives you 4,117 watts a day is what I produce. That cost me, for those five panels, um, $1,500. The next thing you'll need is a solar disconnect box. Now, um, these are very inexpensive. I picked mine up from Missouri Wind and Solar. It's a 60 amp pullable fuse disconnect box. It was $30. In fact, that's it right there. Very inexpensive, but very important. Allows you to disconnect the source so you can work on your equipment without getting electrocuted. Next. I've got a grid tie inverter. Um, you know, I there's a I think the sun sun I forget what they call them now sun something are pretty good. I just took a uh, a, a gamble and I got this one on Amazon. It's called the N Supra. It's a 500 watt grid tie inverter, 12 volt, and it cost me 189 dollars. That will handle 500 watts an hour. So you figure times six hours, you're getting, you know, the, it'll allow me to get up to about 3,000 watts to grid tie that 3,000 watts uh, a day. Um, now, I'm actually sending, diverting some of mine to a battery bank, so that's why I'm not, I don't have a second grid tie inverter right now, but that's hopefully on the way for Christmas. <laughs> we'll see. Um, anyway, real quick picture, that's it. In fact, it's in operation now, and it's uh, taking my son's power, and it's sending it into the grid. Well, I won't go over that now. Okay. 
Then you're going to need, after the grid tie inverter, is my system, you, um, you're going to need some DC direct current breakers or fuse. Breakers are a little bit better because if you blow them, you don't have to replace the fuses. You just flick the switch. So I, um, you have to you have to figure out what you need. But on my system, I, I get away with 150 amp DC breaker. Picked it up at my local electronics store, thirty-five dollars. Okay. Then you're going to need um, obviously the cabling and the wire, etc. Now what I have running for my roof is a hundred, really it's a 50 foot run. So I bought a hundred foot solar line uh, 10 gauge cable um, and I believe I got it at Northern Arizona Wind and Sun. Paid around 72 bucks for it. Um, so I just cut it in half so I get 50 for my positive lead, 50 for my negative. Then you're going to need, you know, I, I combine mine. If, if you don't come, I combine mine in parallel. So I'm combining the amp side. You can do them in series or whatever. But for me, you, you um, I, I needed to buy a bunch of these MC4 multi-branch connectors so I can connect the positives and the negatives. Basically, the same is what you do with a, a combiner box. Combiner box would be a little bit better, but um, for now, this is the way I've just done it. They cost about 26 bucks each. Then you'll then I have some other miscellaneous uh, wire various gauges. So solar wire cable connections etc. Cost you 328. Cost me 328. So which total is 2,082 dollars. That was everything. Now let's look at the return on investment, production, and all that stuff. So what I've done here, hopefully we can see this. My ROI or return on investment is six years. That means my next 19 plus years is free, free energy, um, and I'm using nine. I'm assuming 25 years roughly on the life of the panels. Um, so my production is 4,000 watts a day times 30 days. It's 120,000 watts divided by a thousand, just to put it in kilowatts. So I'm producing 120 kilowatts a month. Um, so my savings is 120 kilowatts. A month times 23 cents is twenty-seven dollars sixty cents a month times twelve months is three hundred thirty-one dollars a year, and I pay two thousand eighty-two for this stuff, and uh, you divide that by um, your savings, and there you go, six point two nine years is my return on investment. In fact, you'll see a quick. Uh, here's my electric bill, and my tier, uh, my rates are. 23 cents, and where is it? 23, can't find it, can't zero in on this, yeah. There it is, tier 3, 23 cents. I mean, if you're in tier 4, you're tw you, you would see it could even be a higher savings. Um, this doesn't show tier 4, I mean tier 5, but there's a tier 5 that's even more expensive. So, you know, these savings, and these are just estimates, uh, guys. This could be a little bit off. This is just a ballpark. Um, so, and here's a quick grid of my... Over the year, since I got my stuff, you can see the uh, the graph. My energy consumption's just gone down, huge. In fact, in November last year, rather December last year, I was at 35 kilowatts. Well, I actually don't have December right now. That's November, but my December is going to be really close. My November last year was about 28, ki not 29 kilowatts. This year. I'm uh, 21 kilowatts. So that th th there's your proof right there and what these things are doing for me. All right, I'm going to cut, cut it here, and I'll start the um, next uh, video.